Chemistry is the science of matter. In specific, it's chemical reactions. Science. science. Hello, we are the Rubber Bandits, and we are here to interview Professor Luke O'Neill, who is Professor of Biochemistry in Trinity College. How are you getting on, Luke? Great. Very good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How's it going? So tell me about what you do as a scientist. Well, I'm an immunologist, so I work on the immune system and how it defends us against nasty germs and protects us from disease in all kinds of ways. And, like, what type of germs do you come across? Viruses, bacteria, nasty parasites, all these things are a big threat to humanity and without our immune system we'd all die of these infections. Do you think that one day science can prove that communion wafers are haunted with the ghost of Christ? <laughs> I think that's, well that is a key job in the Vatican. They've got, you know, rooms full of Jesuit priests analysing communion wafers. What's inside this? Nasty germs. So you've got bacteria growing in there. Let's just say, for argument's sake, if we did want to find out if there was the presence of Christ in a communion wafer, yes. Would we put it in here? That's the thing, to look for the face of Christ in there. I think they should ask the Higgs boson. They should. Do you know why? Because if the Higgs boson gives mass to subatomic particles, that means that it's a really tiny priest. <laughs> That's agar jelly. Agar jelly, yes. If I had a communion wafer, could I grow my own little Christ, like a pocket Christ? You probably could, yes. You could That'd be it. very useful. It'd be like a Tamagotchi. <laughs> Right, it's experiment time. This experiment is going to show the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, which is what your sister uses to bleach her hair. What we are going to do is decompose the hydrogen peroxide using a catalyst. Which is a list of cats. No, it's not. Now, we're going to do this with the help of our good friend Louis Walsh. Now, Louis's been out last night. He was at a Swedish house mafia party with Tulesia, and he had a nice night on the tiles but he's had a bit of a bad burger and he's feeling very, very unwell. So we're gonna help Louis and pull his hair back as he gets sick. I heard recently that they discovered a gas that wasn't noble at all. They discovered a dishonest gas. Did they? It's called Marty Whelium. <laughs> and yes. uh, it, yeah, it's a particularly dis dishonest gas. Like m my friend did a fart the other day and there was Marty Whelium in it and when he woke up his wallet was gone. So we're gonna add the potassium iodide to the hydrogen peroxide. And oh my god, oh poor Louis. Poor Louis. Oh, he's feeling unwell. Oh, oh Louis. Look on Louis. Oh. Poor Louis. Pull back his hair. Oh, you shouldn't have had that bad burger last night, Louis. I bet you feel like such a fool now, don't you? And you look like a fool too, Louis Walsh. You look like such a fool. Sides. Thank you very much, Luke. That was absolutely tremendous. Great stuff. And thank you very much. Being a science good to meet you yeah. guys. Very good. I loved your performance. I loved it. I thought it was class. You're the best guy all the world. It's, you're my number one man and you can sing my number one Christmas song. Oh, he is the prince of everything. Oh, he's the prince hey, of everything. Hey man, why don't you give me some cool help? That's not even an Irish accent. It's how Louis Walsh talks. Leave him alone. He's after getting sick on television. You can do this and you're leaving, sir, probably. You can, you can do that and you're leaving, sir. Go just for it. Walk it's up to your teacher and just go. 600 pints. 